Well, hello everybody. A uh, long time no see. It's been some time since I managed to get a journal done. And I've got several in the, uh, well, half finished stage, or not even half finished, some of them. But anyway, I haven't been sitting twiddling my thumbs, and I've just been doing a few odds and bits and pieces, and I thought I would just let you know I'm still here and to show you what I have been doing. Um, a lot of them are swaps in the groups I'm in. And to start with, we'll go with the paper clips. One was six paper hidden or altered paper clips, I should say. Um, or it could be hair clips as well. So on this one, I've done this little one here, which is on a paper clip, a piece of uh, cheesecloth, little bow, photo, pearls, and a piece of lace backed onto a actually a piece of. Uh, Tim Holt card, I think that was. Um, second one is a graphic 45, and this has a piece of lace, or two pieces of lace on, and a bit of green bling. Third one in these is another paper clip, and on this one, I've actually put a little vel vellum envelope on, and there's a tiny picture inside that one and that's also got a piece of lace um, some blingy pieces and a piece of die cut a piece of doily at the back and a little heart then we come on to the altered hair clips which are these um, and on this one I've started off with a piece of I think it's muslin actually at the back there uh, a little word from Tim Holtz, butterfly which was from a piece of ribbon, um, a bow as you can see, lace and a little piece of uh, gold or copper coloured um, netting. Another paper clip and this one says journal and again I've started off with the calico at the back. Uh, little silk roses, which I didn't make, I have to say. Uh, bow, some bling, lace again, and a piece of ribbon, and some little buttons. And the last one of these is another paper clip. Make sure we get it the right way up. Again, calico, some little stars, a rose, bow, lace. A little piece of trimming from a, a crochet uh, flower and a word. Um, and as I say, they are ready for a swap. They are going out very shortly, hopefully tomorrow. Um, and then I went for one with uh, altered three mini journals uh, or notebooks. They have to be um, able to be written in, so I couldn't really put too much decoration in it. This one I've done on a kind of a steampunk theme and I've actually printed onto canvas. So the cases of all the, uh, sorry, the covers of all of these are actually printed on canvas. Inside I've done a little pocket on this one with tickets in and a little die cut tab. They pop in that little pocket there and um, this was a trimming from some paper I had with a, a tape measure. Um, as I say, we couldn't put too much because it had to be written in, so I've left but a little bit of stamping there, butterfly. Coffee dyed, another piece of stamping. This is from a notebook or a, a, a dress book. Another little pocket in the middle um, with some tabs in. sides of those and then in the back I've put another little pocket with oh, doesn't want to go two more pieces that one there another die cut and then a vellum envelope with some just tiny pieces inside there so that's the first one of those second one again canvas cover um, very similar, they're all very similar. Um, pocket on that one or a piece there that you can just tuck pieces into. An appointment page and some more 
This one I've kept lighter, so a little pocket there. And one there with another piece of paper inside. And also, as you will see, stenciling. And the last one of these three, which we had to do, um, is this one. Okay, in a little pocket with a couple of pieces from a card kit, I believe it was I bought years ago. Uh, another address page. Um, some rather nice markings on these pages. Uh, this one here, the piece of washi tape holding this piece so it gives you double places to write. And another pocket at the back with a couple of little pieces of ephemera in there. And again, I've done stenciling on that one. So that's the three notebooks which I've had to do for my swap. Next one is we had to do a charm dangle. Now I've never done these before, uh, so it was something very new to me. Um, I had to um, try and get hold of beads and uh, pieces. I took some old necklaces to, to bits and I found some in some of the charity shops. Um, and I've actually finished up with this one. So I'm hoping that um, my recipient won't... Uh, will be happy with it I should say, won't, won't find too much fault with it. I've got a little key on there and a clover leaf. And as you can see the, the beads, various beads. So anyway that was that one. And I think I'm going to stop there because my battery's low so I'll be back. So hello I'm back again and uh, we're starting off this time now with uh, this which is one signature, one of the groups I'm in, um, we are making a journal for a little girl who is terminally ill and we were asked to do one signature of ten folded pages um, in girly colours uh, and it would be made up into a journal for the little girl and obviously for mother to keep later. Um, so this is my contribution to this one. I've used, I think they're Stamperia papers, I've got so many papers, um, and I've done uh, pink, which is mostly, I think, probably used food dye to, to colour them. Um, so on this one here, I've just made a pocket with the butterfly, a little tab here with Sweet Girl written on it and some nice pretty um, trim on it, a little heart. And this is just a spare piece of paper which I've tucked in there. Uh, edge punch on there. And this side, and I've done a lot of stenciling of uh, butterflies. I don't know if it's showing up on here, but uh, every page I think nearly I've done butterflies. Um, and also I've actually sprayed, that's probably not showing up much, sprayed with um, a glimmer mist. Um, I've also I've done a belly band on this one of a music paper and then these little tabs is just three of them which I've joined together with uh, this little brad. Uh, another a word love from Tim Holtz um, and another little piece from the papers. This is a piece of vellum with a heart on, um, an edge punch there and I've also reinforced the edge of that with some washi tape. Well, we were asked not to sew them in, obviously, because they're all going to be sewn into one big journal or, or more if, if the need be. Um, this, obviously, is a doily and a little sticker with a dragonfly. Music here with a pocket and some more washi tape. Birds and they carry secrets on their wings. Another butterfly here, and I have put, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Stickles um, on a lot of the things, so it's got, I'm not sure, it's probably not showing up much, but a lot of the stuff has got um, these sparkly stickles on. I'm not sure if that's catching that. Butterflies and flowers. So that's tucked in there. Butterflies there. This one, a dragonfly I've punched out. 
uh, papers there, an envelope here with a heart paper clip. I won't take that one out, but it's just got a card in that one. And I've also stamped fairies. That's probably a bit hard to see. I didn't want any too dark, so that's a fairy there. Uh, another pocket there and some pink lace on. And I've done some uh, it's fairy dust in a, in a little bag, which is, uh, I think it's called Sparkalicious. Uh, little pieces there. This one is a sticker and it says precious jewel you glow you show reflecting you sh sorry you shine reflecting all the good things in the world. That's Marta Angelou. Uh, another corner tuck there and cute as a bug sticker. This one is a flip corner and it's got princess there which was a rub on and this little die cut. Uh, I thought she looked like a princess or Cinderella there. Uh, this is a nice piece of uh, scrap paper with the, sorry, all fingers and thumbs. Uh, yes, and lots of sparkle on that one again. And this is actually the middle page. On this one, I've done the butterfly again and I've left the wings open at the sides. Another fairy down the bottom here, um, and a small one at the top, and then a magic rub on there. Uh, this was a part of a, a sticker. Pretty in pink, another stick-on piece. Done another little pocket there. Um, a Martha Stewart edge puncher there with a piece of pink lace. And another butterfly, and as you can see, another butterfly there. Um, a little piece of lace flower that I've cut off there, and a button. Sticker there, and this is a brad flower. Another corner flip, and that says fairy tale, uh, with a punch there with a little heart and kisses. That one. More butterflies, plenty of room for journaling. And this one says, Among the world's most treasured gifts, among its most precious pearls, God smiles upon the earth and gives us little girls. Oh, sweet. Uh, this was another die cut piece, and that's just a spare piece of paper in there. Another fairy down the corner here. Another fairy there. The other side of the doily, the little fairy on the vellum. Fairy down this corner with another piece of uh, the punch and just a little sticker saying who made it, which we were asked to do. So that's my signature for that one. And last but not least, a loaded pocket. Um, I've never done one of these before either. We were we were given a sort of a guide as to what we could do or what we should do, or and it was actually quite fun doing it. Um, this is the completed piece, so we had to have uh, three pockets at least, and I also left open the, the top piece. So in that one, we've got uh, you could use it for a bookmark or whatever guest check which I've put a little bit of lace and a napkin no or no rice paper I think that one was this one also is like a bookmark and a little vellum envelope and this has got all little bits and pieces a little bird cage flowers heart uh, little bird that's those I'll put those back afterwards another long piece there with a piece of cheesecloth a little pleated piece of coffee dyed and um, this is another one of those that were made with build builders cork and a metal piece there in the next one we've got 
a feather and a little tag with radish written on it. Uh, gosh, it's a job to see where pieces are in it. Oh, yes, and this one. Uh, this is um, this was a freebie on one of the uh, sites, and it's um, a little envelope. Sorry, I can't speak today. Um, and I've put a few poppy seeds in there. This one, little tag with a piece of uh, cheesecloth, a bow, and just a little um, sticker piece stamping. On coffee died again. This is just a spare picture of um, a cutout that I had. Another little uh, tab. This says to plant a seed is a hopeful deed. Little envelope here with little pieces in again. Excuse me, there's the door. Okay, so here we go again after that interruption at the door. Um, off we go again, and this is this little envelope with some more little pieces inside there. And, gosh, sticking to my fingers. Okay, we'll put that one back afterwards. Okay, next thing on the list is this little butterfly tab. And... Flowers that bloom in the springtime fade in the early fall, but the lovely flower of friendship never fades at all. A little piece there. Again, another, um, I think these were die cuts actually, that I've had for so long. Uh, some more little tabs. Um, that one there and then two, uh, two tiny ones on top with the little birds on just tied with a piece of cord. This one is a round one with a little butterfly which I've put some stickles on. And oh, one more. Uh, it's like a, a slide. Um, I don't quite what you call these. I think this was one that was an ATC card but anyway. Um, what I've done there is, is put the acetate both sides uh, that crisscross is a, a die cut and then I've cut two little dragonflies and put those in there. Um, stamped on this piece round here and a little piece of lace on there. Um, I think that's everything in the pocket and then on the actual thing itself I've done this little bee. Um, it had to be based on nature, that was the... Uh, criteria of it so we've got field notes and important details stamps uh, that matched with it and the bee and then on the paper clip I've put a little I think it's a little yes ladybird on that one and looks like a little beetle or something on that one uh, one of these flowers as you can see lace which I threaded ribbon through and it was actually made from a paper bag. Yes, it was. It's a while since I did it, so I'm having to stop and think. Um, and then I've uh, embossed it, put it through a embossing machine and embossed the pattern on there and stamped Make-A-Wish on Butterfly Wings. And there we are. That's that one. So that, that's what I've been up to. Um, thank you for watching and I'm hopefully be back with another journal before too much longer. Thank you. Bye for now.